I will not allow myself to be bullied, humiliated, intimidated, or intentionally confused about what's right and what's wrong. I will no longer abandon myself or participate in self-betrayal. I have a right to be seen, heard, and valued because I matter. I deserve to be treated with kindness and compassion, and it is my human right to be treated with dignity and consideration. I value myself and will protect my inner sanctum. I've clearly defined my limits with all crazy making tactics. Mind games are something I will no longer tolerate, but instead clarity, transparency, and upfront honesty are characteristics that I find appealing. Despite all the really convincing words you've said, via your actions, you've demonstrated time and again that you are not my person. You are not trustworthy. You are not for me, but against me. I've accepted the painful truth that you did not love me because I now know that love doesn't equal repeated and ongoing pain, neglect or abuse. Interestingly, my vitality, moods and health is improving the further and longer I am in no contact with you. My emotional stability, physical well-being and sanity are my number one priorities. Not pleasing you, not belonging to your cult, not feeling obligated to obey your dysfunctional rules, cultural or dogmatic religious expectations. My heart and my connection to the divine are my compass. It is not selfish to say no. I don't have to defend or justify what my limits are. This is how I take care of me. And that is my responsibility. And how you interpret my new and assertive behavior is up to you. I'm indifferent to your reactions. Your approval is no longer needed because I've given myself closure. I'm finally honoring my body's messages and intuition, which communicates to me at every moment what feels good and what doesn't feel good. And as a result, I'm starting to reconnect to my internal guidance system. I'm starting to trust myself. I treasure my clarity, certainty and knowingness about every situation in life. I have a right to choose what's best for me. And I'm okay with you not being happy about my decision because I'm not here to make you happy. I'm here to be true to myself. And I'm not here to be nice. I'm here to be real. I don't hate you. I just love and care about myself more because I'm finally prioritizing me. I've processed my anger, hurt and grief about all the things that happened and didn't happen. And I'm set free. I'm no longer dedicated to fixing our relationship, rescuing you from your irresponsibility, falling for your empty promises, making excuses on your behalf or enabling dysfunctional behavior. No contact preserves and protects my integrity. I owe this to myself. I now execute my power and hold myself accountable to the promise I make to myself from this point on moving forward. I release you and I absolve myself from continuing to carry the unnecessary burden of toxic guilt, shame, hate or anger. I was victimized, but I will not remain in victimhood. What no contact actually means is that I'm committed to doing the necessary inner work that only I can do. And my healing does not depend on you apologizing, admitting truth, validating my emotions or acknowledging the reality of the harm that I experienced at your hands. My healing depends on me, on my courage, my conviction and my power to take whatever action in order to uphold the necessary boundaries that preserve and protect me. And I know I've made the right decision by the peace I feel, the contentment I find myself surrounded by, and the sheer happiness and liberation I feel that grows with each passing day. 
I now rest assured that despite all your efforts to infect me with your paranoia, I'm starting to learn that the world is a safe place, that there are loving people, and that I am supported. My most empowered state is when I'm in alignment with what resonates for me as truth and love. And I value authenticity over fake connection. I'm no longer dependent on your validation. I've cut the cords to our codependent dynamic. I set myself free from this enslavement, this enmeshment. I am now self-reliant. I know I'm fully capable because everything I need to know is revealed to me at the right time. I am supported and I trust the God of my understanding. Your interference is no longer welcome. So let my no response be the response. I will not engage in conflict or be baited into futile, convoluted conversations. Nor will I lower my standards to accommodate your discomfort. I won't step down to play your games anymore. I choose to no longer live in deception, pretend I believe your illusions or warped perceptions about what's possible or not for me. I have a razor sharp sword of truth and discernment and I will defend my boundaries shall the need arise. Make no mistake, my no means no. I now attract and engage only with others on a similar mission. I'm finding my tribe, my true soul family. I know I'm no longer alone, crazy or confused. And the more that I let go of everything that was weighing me down, the more space I create for goodness and abundance to come in. Oppression is not a lifestyle I choose for myself anymore. And the anxiety that I existed in is like a fading bad memory. I actually enjoy my own company and love discovering who I am and what my gifts and talents are. I now commit to myself, to my growth, healing my wounds and reaching my highest potential in this lifetime. My life is a demonstration of my courageous choices, which inspires and reminds others of their inherent power and worth. I know I am a powerful co-creator and I now create loving relationships and the type of world I want to joyously participate in.